Surface area and volume of a pentagonal prism. This question, if you read it, it says find the surface area, but for the purposes of uh, doing examples, I'll do both surface area and volume. So let's begin with the surface area. So what I need to do is find the area of these rectangles. They're going to be, this is a regular pentagon. Uh, so the, they're going to be five of those rectangles. So we'll do five rectangles. And then there's going to be a pentagon in the front and a pentagon behind. So two pentagons and five rectangles. Over here on the right, I have the pentagon. And I know that if I were to connect all of these, this is a regular pentagon, but if I were to connect all of these, this triangle here occurs five times. So if I take 360 degrees and divide it by five, I get 72 degrees. So this angle all the way around here is 360. And this, that 360 divided by 5 gives me 72. So this angle here is 72 degrees. Each of these triangles has a 72 degree angle around the, the center of this pentagon, which means each of these is 36 and 36 degrees. Now to find the area of this pentagon, we'll notice that in the directions it says the perimeter of the base is 30. So if we take 30 and divide it by the five sides, uh, we get 6. So I know that from here to here, each side is 6, which makes this piece 3. Each of these are 3. And what I need to find is the apothem. The apothem is the, the height of one of those triangles. So uh, we're going to use the formula that the area of a regular polygon is one-half the apothem times the perimeter. So the apothem, we have opposite, which is 3. We have adjacent, which is the, uh, the apothem we're looking for. Opposite and adjacent is tangent. So I know the tangent of 36 is equal to the opposite, 3 over the adjacent A, and I'll put that over one, and I'll cross multiply, and I get three equals A tan 36, and I'm trying to find A, so there's that tan I need to get rid of. I'll divide both sides by the tangent. And I see that the apothem is 3 divided by the tangent of 36. Look at the directions here. And I'm talking about up here. Do not round until your final answer. So don't punch that in yet. We're not ready. If you punch it in now, you're going to have to round it. And the if we multiply that rounding error by 10, then that small rounding error becomes larger. And the, more, the bigger numbers you multiply the, the rounded number by, the more error you have. So let's save that until the end. We know that the apothem is part of what we need to find the area of the pentagon. So the area of a, a regular poly is one-half the apothem times the perimeter. So the area of our pentagon will be one half, three divided by the tangent of 36 times the perimeter. And the perimeter they gave us in the question, it was 30. So let's just simplify this, but we won't punch it in the calculator yet. Uh, the two will cancel with the 30 and that becomes 15. And 3 times 15 is 45, so it's 45 divided by the tangent of 36. We have the area of the pentagon now. And we are ready to find the surface area of the pentagonal.
prism. So the total area would be two pentagons, two times 45 over the tangent of 36, plus there are five rectangles. And each of those rectangles uh, has a base and height. Remember we figured out over here that uh, each side of the pentagon was six. So these are all six. So every rectangle is a six by 20. So five times six times 20. Uh, at this point, I can punch it in the calculator. Uh, you could, we have to approximate because of the trigonometry. Uh, you could say two times 45 is 90 and do 90 divided by the tangent of 36 plus five times six times 20. Let's work this out. If you don't have a calculator that does tangent, remember you can go to desmos.com, D-S-M-O-S. -S, uh, but you do have to change uh, the degree measurement. Uh, at, they're measuring in radians, so you have to change it to degrees. There's a little tool icon. If you click on that, you'll see uh, an option to change it to degrees. You can just punch it in Desmos exactly like this. And when you do, you will get 723 point or rounding to the tenth point nine and it would be centimeters squared the volume is the area of the base which was 45 divided by the tangent of 36 Area of the base times the height of the prism, or the, uh, the altitude of the prism. And the altitude is the distance between the two pentagons. That's the 20. So we'll take 45 times 20 and divide it by the tangent of 36. And I get 1, 2, 3, 8.7, and this is volume, it's measured in cubes, so it's centimeters cubed, or cubic centimeters.